Hello, I'm Garland from Presentation Point. I want to show you today an example of how Presentation Point software can be used to create digital signage that would have a constantly updating system to be able to show such things as events. So this is a simple PowerPoint presentation that's been put together to work with uh, Presentation Point software. And if we run the slideshow on this, it'll show you how it works. So this is for Cattle Annie's, which is a restaurant that also has live entertainment. And as you can see, the entertainment is continually updating. It's scrolling through the list so it can show you what's upcoming for the next months. And it's automatically updating these, you know, all the time. Now, how did we do this? Well, let's, let's just come out of here and, and show you how it works. At its base, in this particular case, is a power, is a um, simple act, Microsoft Access database. Now this could also be an Excel spreadsheet or other information that could be used, but in this case that's what we've used. So we've put in the date, the band, the type, the opener, the graphic, the cost, and the status of it. And so we just created a very simple database uh, that way. Very easy for you to change any of these if you want to change the name or something like that. Okay, so how did we connect that? Well, we used data point. Uh, which is you only need one license for data point just on whatever uh, computer you're going to be uh, setting up the PowerPoint presentations on and data point lets you connect databases and other data information with PowerPoint presentations and have them automatically update so if I click on list you'll see here that we've clicked we've connected it to the schedule Microsoft database and then we created a query and on the query, you can see it does a preview data. So you can see it shows all the same information here. Then if we go to any of these fields here, like a text box, if you click on it and then click on text box from within data point, you can see how it's connected to the database. So in this case, here's the data connection. Here's which column we chose to put in. And here's the row. So the first set would be row one, second set, the next set would be row two, and it gives you a nice preview. So quite easy to set up. You can see the graphics are done the same way. Click on there, go picture box, and once again, it's updated there, and it's showing the actual where the folder is, and, and it finds them for you. So that's how we've used the PowerPoint presentation to be able to keep it updated with data. You could use this uh, for many ways. Upcoming events are one. Menu items in a restaurant would be another item. Uh, another possibility is if you're traveling and you're going to have to do a presentation, you could have your latest sales figures feeding right into here so that it could be updated. When we're showing this on a digital sign, we use the iPoint scheduler software. Uh, to schedule what's going to go on and it shows of course only one player right now if I had 10 or 15 different digital signs it would show all of them and then I can create a playlist quite easily so here's the cattle any playlist that I've got and you can see to create a playlist I've just chosen to add an item and I've just gone made a connection to the PowerPoint presentation if I go back to the player um, if I want to add a playlist to it um, if you want to see what's assigned, I can go assignments and I can see which playlists are there. If I wanted to overlay a playlist, for example, if I wanted a special playlist to come on at a certain amount at a certain time, if you had menu items that were only going to be good till 1130, then you switch to the lunch menu, you could have this set up that those would automatically change for you. You only really need uh, one iPoint scheduler for, for most systems unless you've got a really huge number of players and then you just need the player software for each one. So I hope that that uh, gave you a good idea of how we're doing this. Uh, if you want more information, visit presentationpoint.com. I'm Garland Colson. Thanks for listening.